As your team's Postman footprint increases, it's important that others are able to find and reuse the resources that have been created. In this video, we'll walk through ways that you can find and discover resources within the platform. We'll walk through Postman's private and public API networks, as well as a couple other ways to search for content from within your team, like global search and workspace search. Let's say my team needs an API with a specific functionality, but I want to see if someone in our company has already built something similar before I start building one from scratch. The best place to start is the private API network, which is accessible from the API network dropdown in the top toolbar. The private API network is a space where I can publish my APIs, workspaces, and collections, making it easier for my team and others to find these resources. As I go through my private API network, I can see that we have several folders that can be used to group resources across the company by team name or project type, giving everyone a designated place to share their Postman work. Let's say that I wanted an API that worked with customer data. As I search this core services folder, I see that there's a customer's API listed here that just might work. As I start to look through this API, I have several pieces of information that can help me determine if this project will suit my needs. At the top, I can switch between published versions. In the middle of the window, I can see documentation that gives additional context about this API. Further down, I have any associated collections. And at the very bottom, I'm able to see information about the definition. After reviewing this documentation, if I decide that I want to work with this API or collection, I can either fork directly from the private API network, depending on its access controls, or click the View and Workspace button to be taken to the workspace where the resource resides to get more context. There's also a Search Console for browsing. If I'm looking for resources around a specific topic, I can set up filters to help me narrow down my search. We can see that there are several types of resources that are available on the network, collections, APIs, and entire workspaces. This gives you flexibility in deciding how to share your projects. In many cases, sharing an API with a well-documented definition file may be enough to get someone started using your API. However, sometimes you may want to share a really useful custom collection or a workspace with lots of elements that work well together. And the private API network is a great place to share those as well. As you start adding more resources to the network, it's important to maintain a standard of quality so that your private API network continues to be a trusted repository of projects. To help with this, Postman offers a team role called the API Network Manager. This person will serve as a curator of the private API network with the ability to add any APIs to the network and manage many of the administrative aspects. Once someone is assigned to this role, you have the option to toggle on approval process from your team settings. Here, you can see that I have the banner indicating that I have some requests to review since I'm a network manager. Before adding a new entry to the network, you should make sure that the entry meets your team's quality standards and is well documented so that others will be able to find and use it. For APIs that can be shared publicly, Postman's public API network is a great way to share them with the world and help developers get started quickly. Even if your team isn't producing public facing services, it can be helpful to browse the network and see what's going on in the broader world of APIs and how people are setting up their collections and workspaces. To get to the public network, click the Explore button in the top menu bar, and you're able to see featured teams or browse by category. Similar to the API network manager role we talked about earlier, Postman has a community manager role that can help to monitor public facing elements and make sure a standard of quality is maintained for your team. From the Manage Team dropdown, the Community Manager can click into the Manage Public Elements dashboard and respond to any requests for public documentation and workspace publishing, as well as keep tabs on what has already been published. As a final note on discoverability, Postman has a couple other tools which can be helpful to discover work within your team. The first is the global search bar, which you may have already found. There are several filters available to narrow down your results if you already have a search term in mind, but one in particular I want to draw your attention to is toggling between all of Postman and your team. This will help you to search across your specific instance and workspaces you have access to. This is a great option if you're searching for projects that may not be in the private API network. Finally, 
Workspaces have their own search and filtering mechanism that may be helpful in finding what you need. If you go to the Workspaces dropdown, you're able to search using the built-in search bar, but if you click View All Workspaces at the bottom, you'll be taken to a page with more options for filtering results. This makes it easier to find exactly what you're looking for as your team starts to grow and adds more resources. As we wrap up, you should have a good idea of how to discover resources from your team in Postman. Just to recap, we've covered browsing and managing the private and public API networks, as well as the global and workspace search options.